This lesson deals with supplemental problem 222. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 21. Suppose that I have a 20 ohm resistor in parallel with a 30 ohm resistor and an unknown resistor R. I like that equivalent parallel combination to equal 4 ohms. Could you find the value of R and then how much current that this resistor would carry if I had a 6 amp current source connected to the parallel combination? So let's describe this as an equivalent circuit. I've got 20 in parallel with 30 in parallel with R. Okay, put these two in parallel and have product over sum, which would be 600 divided by 50. And that turns out to be 12. So the parallel combination, product over sum, should be 12 times R over 12 plus R has to equal 4. I could solve this by cross multiplying here. So I've got 4 times 12, which is 48, and then 4 times R, and that has to equal 12R. Bring this over here, you have 8R, and then dividing that 8 into 48, and you get 6. Also in the class notes, we had a shortcut formula that said if you had resistors in parallel, and you knew what the value needed to be equal to, that the value of the unknown resistance would equal the product over the difference. So 12 times 4 over 12 minus 4 would be equal to 48 divided by 8, or 6. By the way, you get the same answer. Okay, now let's hook the 6 amp source across the parallel combination. We could use current divider to find the current in the 6 ohm resistor. We could use our conductance form of current divider. Since you want the current in the 6 ohm resistor, we'll take the conductance of that, and then the conductance of the three elements. So 1 over 20, 1 over 30, and 1 over 6. Let's multiply the numerator and denominator by 60 to get rid of all these reciprocals. So 60 times 1 20th is 3, 60 times 1 30th is 2, 60 times 1 6th is 10, and the numerator, same thing, 10. So I've got 6 times 10, or 60, divided by 15, and that's 4 amps. We could also do this problem by combining these two resistors in parallel. You just have two resistors in parallel, and we could use our resistive form of the current divider. We found before that this was equal to 12 ohms, the 30 in parallel with the 20. And so our resistive form of current divider is that if you want the current in the 6 ohm resistor, take the other resistor over the sum of the 2 times the current. And that would be 72 divided by 18 or 4. So the same answer, a little bit less work by using our resistive current divider instead of our conductance current divider. And this is supplemental problem 222.